Hey guys, Squall here. This is a game called Naval Action. This is a beautiful looking game. I mean, I've never seen a sea quite as good as this. There's another map you can play on, this a, a storm, and the sea is moving really high and low, and it's incredibly realistic. It's a... what is this game? It's kind of hard to describe. At the moment, it's basically a, a naval combat simulator. It's in a very crude form at the moment, but I have had a chat with the developer and they sort of jumped on board and showed me how to play and um, told me about the game and its direction. I'm going to give you a very, very quick overview in this video. Just have a look at what it's got and show you some of the some of the gameplay. So down the bottom left is our ship though, and you can see the wind direction. I'm going to put the sails up by pressing the W key and you'll see the sails coming up. Bottom left you can see half, then full, and as the wind, as the sails come up, the uh, the ship starts to pick up speed because obviously if you look at the wind, we're catching the wind and blowing in that direction. What we can do though is we can move the sails like this, and that you have to do this in order to catch the winds to keep your ship moving. Now that's a friendly over there guy called Fish Allies. So if I just hold my shift key. You can see, I think he's a snow class ship, which is a much bigger. I think I'm the smallest one in this battle. Uh, where's the enemy? It's a lighthouse. Uh, it must be over this side. Where is he? Oh, there he is. It looks like there's one big ship versus a small and a medium ship. There's not that many players on board. It's kind of early backers at the moment. Um, so there's not that many people actually in the game. It's kind of hard to find a big game. I have been in a few big games, but they're, they're quite hard to find. Uh, so bottom bottom middle though, it's got left ammo, right ammo, front ammo, back ammo. Now this particular ship, uh, if you notice, doesn't have any cannons in the rear. It only has cannons down the left and, and right sides. So what I can do, if I press the 1 key and then load up different types of ammo. You've got the standard ball, you've got the chain. Chain is useful for ripping into uh, enemy sails. Uh, double puts sort of two cannonballs in there, uh, and grape, I'm not exactly sure what grape is, I think it's used for close combat and smashing the uh, the enemy crew, I'm not exactly sure, I'm just going to load double in each one. Now the thing is about double, if I can get the keys right, the thing is about double is it does a lot, of, lot more damage because you find two cannonballs but the range is much reduced, so it's a bit of a trading act. So one of the things you could do is fire sting single shot and do it from a range, or you could put double in there, get up close, broadside them, and then just unleash the cannons. Um, now the way the ship progression currently works, this is the only ship I have unlocked. The next ship I have to do 5,000 damage. I've done about 3,500 damage in this ship, so I'm not far off the next ship. Uh, it's not going to be like that in the future. At the moment it's a simple mechanic to, to unlock the next ship, but it won't always be that way. Down the right, uh, at the bottom, you've got uh, five key as repair. So we've got, if you like, three repair kits. And you can use repair in different ways. You could use the repair on the armor of the ship. And there's armor above and below sea level. Uh, you've got the rudder, the pump, and the magazine, effectively. Uh, top left is the status of the ship. That shows you both the front and the fore and aft, stern and port, and all that kind of thing. Uh, port and starboard, sorry. And um, you've got the leaks. And the line where the leaks is, is above and below sea level. So if you get leaks below sea level, you need to plug them fairly quickly. Leaks above sea level aren't so bad, uh, but obviously as you turn, you will start to take on water. Bottom left, it'll actually show you water coming in. You'll see like the water rise. At that point, you've got to put your crew into a different mode. So at the moment, we're in sailing mode, which is uh, bottom middle there. It says number six, sailing. We can put them in gunnery mode. That'll make us 20% more accurate with the guns. Or we can put them in survival mode, and they'll start pumping water out or, or repairing the hull and that kind of thing. Top right, uh, it should, if I look at an enemy player, it shows you his status, his sails, uh, his crew, and you can see the left side of his ship is starting to take some damage. So I am going to... Where's my friendly? He's over here. Basic problem is, if I go near that, I'm going to get smashed. I'm going to get smashed anyway, pretty much, no matter what I do. I'm very much going to get smashed in this game. Now I'm sailing against the wind, which makes it a little bit tricky, so... Obviously... It's uh, the developer described this as a, like more like a game of chess than combat, because things happen very slowly in ships. As you can see, I need to plan where I'm going to go. I need to plan where where um, when I get there, what am I going to be able to fire with? Which cannons are reloading? Uh, am I going to hit the side of a ship, the front of a ship? For example, if I if I turn like this, 
and then zoom in, hold the right mouse button, you'll see I now go into gunnery mode. I'm going to put it into my crew into gunnery site, and the red line is where level my cannons are aiming. So if I bring it up, it'll aim higher. First thing I need to do is press the space bar and try and get a range on this. Went over, so I'm going to aim a bit lower. There you go, that hit him. Oh, I think I might have done some damage. So I've hit him, that's good. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn because I'm going to get screwed now. <laughs> Basically, he's about to broadside me and unleash a whole load of cannons on me. Um, yeah, this is, this is pretty bad for me. But I'm going to get wrecked in this no matter what happens. You'll see me take damage now. Watch the top left as we go past. He's bound to just wreck me. There we go. Broadsided me. Now, you notice the, the hull on the top left there? So what I could do is put my crew into a repair state. Oh, hang on, I've got the guns back. I'm going to try and hit him in the stern if possible. The stern is, generally speaking, the weakest part of the ship. Always good to try and hit the stern if you can. Okay... Let's try and steady it up a bit. The problem is the guns fire in order, so the left one's going to fire. Oh, he's in just short, so I've lost range on him now. Yeah, the, because the, we've got four guns on this ship. Whoa! The guy's smacking me from that. Um, let's get the. I'm going to full lock right on the rudder, and I'm going to try and get over there. Now I'm be, I've got the wind with me now, which is another important aspect of this game. I'm going to try and get over there and see if I can smash the stern of his ship with my cannons. That's my plan. So hence where the strategy really comes in because it is not a fast paced game, it's a, a thinking man's game as well as skill. I like it. I'm going to just bring the sails back a little bit as I get nearer. I'm trying to adjust my speed. Now, he does have a rear gun, that's the thing. So he's probably repairing if I... Well, look at his armour, I can see his left side's a bit smashed. I'm going to try and turn in now. I don't want to get down the side of him because he'll get a shot on me then. Let's see if I can get a free shot out of it. Oh, just missed. That hit. Oh, so close! Darn it! Now, if I get too much far forward right now, he's going to get a free shot on me. So I'm going to try and slow myself down. Now, bear in mind, if you look at the bottom middle, my right gun is is loaded and ready to go. My my left gun, which I just fired, is just about coming back. So I should be able to get a shot with my other gun now. Uh, the cannons, I should say. Straighten up. These two are in a bit of a ding-dong because... I'm not much of a threat to uh, this enemy. He knows it. He needs to deal with the other guy. Oh! Terrible! Missed with all four! It is difficult! It really is difficult, this game. Look at, look at the hole in my sail. And this is a calm sea, when it's the really choppy sea, it's incredible because another factor that comes in is, is not just the yaw of your ship as it's rocking in the sea, but waves come up higher than your ship and what happens is you're about to take a shot and then a wave comes up and you can't, you just, cannon just plants straight into the water. I'm not paying any attention to what I'm doing here, I really should be. Paying attention to the wind. What I don't want to do is go down his right side, because his left side cannons are being used in a battle there. If I go down his right side, he'll just get a free shot on me. You can see his left side's quite damaged as well, because um, my teammate is basically wrecking him on his left side. And at some point, he's going to have to just stop and repair. Oh, that was a full-on broadside. What's my teammate? My teammate's right side is smashed a bit. Uh, this isn't good. I need to try and uh, help out here. As little as I can. Let's try some shots. I managed to get one on target and then another one on the stern, so that was pretty good. I'm going to get smashed if I'm not careful here. 
They're just having a full on battle now. <laughs> it's like I'm just a spectator. Of course, when my friendly goes down, he'll just turn his guns on me and I'll be dead. Let's see if I can get another shot. That hits him. You see, the ship moved then. Well, that's three. It's not so bad. Uh, what's my teammate like? Teammate's looking pretty doomed. I'm going to try and turn around. See if I can broadside him with the right guns. I'm going to die anyway in this game. We haven't got a hope in hell's chance of winning. But, if I can do some damage... As long as my teammate's alive. At the end of the day, the more damage I do, the quicker I'll lo unlock the next... The quicker I'll lo unlock the next ship, so... A full broadside damage is actually good for levelling me up to get me onto the next ship. Look at, look at this beautiful, beautiful scenery. It's a pity the map storm hasn't come up for a while because it is amazing to look at. Now what I could do is I could use a repair kit. But I'm actually tempted to just keep gunning. That's right, let's go into sailing mode. And um, I just want to do as much damage as I can before... Why well, actually Winston's looking pretty wrecked? My teammate's not done so bad. Oh, we won! There you go. We won. There you go. So it comes up now and it says, uh, one kill. I did... Well, I did 353 damage. Fish, fish allies who's in a brig, which is a really um, a big ship. And uh, the, the brig, you, you see them behind just there. You see the yacht and the links are what you can start with. The cutter is the next one up. The brig is what he had, and then the snow is even bigger than that. So, two and a half thousand damage is insane. The fact that we won that is all down to fish allies and has absolutely nothing to do with me. So, if I click on cutter now, you can see 3,600 damage out of 5,000. I need a bit more before I can move up. But, that's how the game works. There's lots of ships. I haven't been past the links yet. Um, I think this is a really good game. It's not, it's not available for sale again yet. It's available for sale, I think, in February, the developer said. Um, but at the moment, it's just in a kind of a closed beta. But I will be doing more videos on this. I think this is a super strategic game. Uh, it's definitely got more to offer. Um, the developers said it's not just going to be about combat. There's going to be exploration in it. There's going to be conquest in it. Uh, you're going to be able to, you know, go around the, the, the map of the world, if you like, and visit different countries. And there'll be lots of things to do other than just combat. So I think it's got a really bright future. I'm really looking forward to this game developing. And I will definitely be covering it on my channel. That's it from me, guys. That was a first look at naval action. Let me know what you think. Take care, guys. See you soon.